But yeah, y'all, I look crazy because I literally just woke up like less than an hour ago. I was asleep, fell asleep on the couch. I'm so freaking tired. It makes no sense. I'm tired from not sleeping and working and school and all that good stuff. Um, so I just took a nap. I was thinking about going to work tonight. And then I got home and I was like, there's no way I'm going to work tonight. I'm exhausted. And I'm working all weekend. So I'm just going to sit this one out tonight. Airs days aren't my days anyway. So I'm going to just chill and rest and maybe do some more study. Um, watch some more videos or something. So I had a clinical presentation yesterday. Um, so we had to like present a topic to our clinical group. It was just through Zoom. And that went well. I got 100. So that helped boost my grade. I'm passing now. But my overall test grade needs to be a 77. Um, I'm at like a 72. So test three, this final exam, and I have the ATI CAP test. Last three tests that factor into it. Um, I just need to do well on those. Yeah, y'all pray for me. <laughs> Um, after this, but that's my last week of class next week. So I have like a 10 day break and then I start behavioral health. Y'all, I'll be graduating next summer. Y'all, my goodness. I'm going to be done so soon. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to be a nurse. Not ready to take this NCLEX, but I'm ready to be a nurse. I'm ready to be paid. I'm ready to be a like, I've been thinking about what this means for my YouTube channel, what this means for me, if I'm going to be dancing anymore. I'm definitely going to be polling more. Like, I'll probably do, like, more poll stuff on YouTube, um, more nursing stuff. I'm trying to, like, slowly incorporate nursing students to study with me videos. Like, y'all see, I'm trying to incorporate more content because I'm a multifaceted woman. Um, but like, I've just been thinking about what am I going to do after I become an RN? Like, where's my YouTube channel going to go? And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you enjoy my videos and you've been watching them and you're not already subscribed, like, go ahead and subscribe. If you, um, see an ad after this video, go ahead and watch the ad. Watch the ad on all my videos, por favor. Really appreciate it. You are supporting the future black nurse. So go ahead and do that. Hey y'all, it's your girl Daisy Dudes, aka the Shot Stripper. It's Friday and we have a weekend stripper vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. Um, we have some a few things that we have to do before we go to work tonight. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Right now I'm headed to the bank. Um, I gotta deposit some money because I got some bills coming up and I need to pay that. So that's what I'm doing for today. And then I'm coming back home and everything else is gonna be done at home. Damn, baby. I just don't understand what we went wrong. I gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. I gave you.
Alright y'all, I am headed to the club. It's 9.30, I'm leaving late, I'm gonna get there late, but it is what it is. Cause apparently girls be getting there late all the time and they don't say nothing, so they better not say nothing to me when I get there late this one time. I'm gonna have a BF. If you know, you know. Anyways, this is what I'm wearing, cause this is what I wore earlier today. So yeah, cozy. <laughs> So hey y'all, I have been doing a horrible job of vlogging and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've done a horrible job of vlogging and yeah, <laughs> it's just horrible. <laughs> um, it is Sunday. I'm supposed to be going to work. It is 8.47. I was trying to leave a little earlier, but I, I was studying while I was doing my makeup. I have a test tomorrow. So honestly, I probably shouldn't be going to work tonight, but I'm going because I need money and I've been studying like consistently every day so I think I should be okay to make at least a B this time like for real okay so this week I worked Wednesday Friday Saturday and then I'm working today Wednesday was trash Friday was kind of trash like I don't I don't know how I just made some shape okay Friday was whatever as well yesterday or last night was way better um my minimum for like the weekend i want to make at least like 500 a night if possible i know it's slow right now but that's like a struggle to even make 500 a night i completed that i i accomplished that last night thank god um i would have made more had i got to my other customer I danced her before i made like 300 off of her um but i was on stage and i couldn't just get off stage to go give her the dances because I know she would have wanted to like keep going but then it's like dang I messed up and I told her right once I got on stage I was like hold on I'm gonna go freshen up and I'm coming right back it took me less than a song to do that and I came back and she was gone my heart so I could have been closer to a thousand dollars for last night but you know what it's okay I'm grateful for what I made I'm not gonna be greedy I'm grateful for even what I made because I have not been making that much lately and so for me to make what I would to make what I made last night. I'm very grateful, blessed, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, because I needed it, I need it. And as far as tonight, my house fee is gonna be $30. My house fee the past two nights have been 60. I've been paying, a end up paying about 85, 80 just to work, because that's including my house fee and the tip outs that I have to pay for everybody, um, which is really just the DJs and the bouncers because what is a house mom <laughs> last night um i did get a customer who he was like really drunk but he was like drunk and coherent at the same time basically he like one of the drivers who comes in he talked to the guy he was like yeah you should go get a dance with her da, da, da. he's always looking out for the black girls i'm not gonna lie which is re i'm really grateful for um but he was like yeah you should go get a dance with her like go get your drink go get a dance that's what we did. He got a drink. We went upstairs. He's like, you know what? Like, you really don't even have to dance. Like, I'm just going to give you $200 regardless of what you do. He was like, and then he was like, you know what? Let me see what you can do. Da, da, da. So I did two dances, y'all. And that was it. Uh, because there's a feature where we have to go walk the stage, walk around the stage, carrying a little shot too. Um, so we stopped because of the feature. He was like, I'm still giving you $200. It doesn't matter. Um, he gave it to me in funny money, though. So in actuality, actuality, I got $180 for two songs. And that was like the first two dances I've given all night. The first time I actually got money like outside of stage. That's really what like kickstarted the rest of my night, honestly. So I made the 180 off of him for two songs. Um, and then I think I tried to walk around, people just weren't feeling me or they weren't feeling spending money that wasn't on stage. So eventually I got on stage, I made, it was a four stage set. So the first stage I did all right. Second stage is, um, oh no, actually JK, uh, these group of girls called me over or a group of women and it ended up being homegirl who spent $300 on me last time she came. 
And so her, it was one of her friend's birthdays. So I did a little table dance there. And she was like, I'm gonna get you later with the table dance. Well, when it was time for me to be on stage, I was on my second stage um, set. And she came over with some guy. I don't know if they were together or not. But anyways, they tipped me like $50, $60 on that one. Then I got to center stage, which is the last stage in the rotation. And I made a good a little, I could made a good amount of money, I guess. Probably made about $100 up there on that one. Um, which is good for nowadays, because that's how it used to be. Like every stage, I would be making at least like $100. Now, I'm just lucky if I even make $20 or five on each stage. Or $100 for the whole combination of four stages. So for me to make a hundred on that one stage, that was like really, really good now for how slow it is right now and how broke people are right now. So that was good. Um, and then I got off and she was going, but I walked around and I got a guy who had tipped me earlier. I got him to do a dance. And then I got, a, I did like a table dance for a birthday. Like it was everybody's birthday last night pretty much. Okay. So, I did table dance for a girl and that was the end of my night. And that was it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It went by, last night went by so freaking quick. I was just like, like at 12 o'clock, I was like, what in the world? It's 12 o'clock, I have no money. Same thing with one. <laughs> then it got to like, I want to say around 2 o'clock is really when I started. So from 2 to 3.30 is literally when I made all my money, y'all. And it sucks because you're sitting there waiting the whole time for money to come and eventually you get tired, but it just, I'm telling y'all, that power hour really just, it, sometimes it pisses me off, but it's a blessing either way because at least I'm making some money before I go home. So I'm gonna hurry up and eat some more chips and pack my bag. I'm feeling kind of like dominatrix type vibes tonight. So I think I'm gonna wear my little black, bodysuit the patent leather one with the fishnet tights and my black thigh highs just because my knees i know my knees is probably tired right now <laughs> my legs are tired on that stage i just the stages are so harsh on your bones you know so these thigh highs i won't save them i just i feel like work is smarter and not harder tonight Party on stairs, got 10 for that. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm giving it about like 30 to 40 more minutes and then I'm headed home. I almost witnessed the fight in VIP between dancers. All right, y'all, this is what I got so far. I got at least like 150 maybe. So I'm gonna try to go back upstairs and make some more. Okay, y'all, so I finished my exam. I got an 86. Woo, shout out to me because I did good. I know 86 is kind of low. But that's good for me because I've been not doing too good on these tests, okay? Period. But anyways, so what I did to kind of like study, and I think it helped improve my score actually, 
was I followed um, one of the girls in the group chat. She sent two different videos. So this test was on nutrition and um, what was it on? Nutrition and like legal ethical stuff for nursing, like torts and um, ethics, stuff like that. And it was on time management. So she sent this girl or this lady, Nexus Nursing, Professor D. Y'all, this was so helpful because literally two questions um, in the video were on the test. The same exact answers. But I looked at her nutrition one or the part one of nutrition. It's, where was it? And apparently she has a lot of good helpful videos. Um, I haven't looked at them. I just looked at the nutrition one right before my test. And she basically will just go over like different scenarios or questions have the answer choices on the screen. She'll read it out and you can read it too. And then you'll, you answer the question, whatever you, way you think. Then she'll tell you the answer and she'll break it down for you, the rationales of why it's that answer and why the other answers aren't right. And that's like, you know, that's big if you're a nursing student to know why the other answers aren't right. Um, so that was helpful. Other nursing page I follow, started following was... Hold on, let me see. I follow a lot of people, y'all, on YouTube. I follow a lot of people on YouTube, y'all. Uh, okay, so okay, so the other nurse that I follow is Level Up RN. So she has different videos. Like she'll have playlists too. That's what I looked at as well. Um, I looked at the playlist on nutrition. But you see, she has a lot of different topics. So apparently she has flashcards. She has flashcards that she sells. So like the first video in her playlist will talk about the flashcards that are with it. And then the second video goes into like the intro and the specifics. So I literally watched all of these in the playlist. And at the end, she'll ask you about three or four questions. They're pretty easy though. The only thing I don't like about this is her questions are really easy. And she talks like majority of the time in the video. So I'm more of a, I guess I'm more of a visual learner. So she had put all the stuff that she was saying on the screen. That would help. But honestly, I just put on the, the captions and I guess that kind of helps. But if she put it on the screen, that would be more helpful. But either way, like the stuff that she says, she breaks it down. It's pretty easy to understand. And it helped me for this test as well to remember. Like she has cute little mnemonics um to remember the stuff as well i mainly like the uh other lady because for one she's black <laughs> she's a black nurse i like that <laughs> like i love seeing other black nurses for two she's um she breaks it down a little bit more than this lady does this lady she'll give you the background information so if you like are learning about something i say look at your like school's powerpoint lecture notes or whatever then go to this lady she'll break it down a little further ask you questions and then you'll know if you understand it or not then go to the black lady go to one of the topics about it Ooh, not the messages <laughs> go to the topics about it and she'll have questions for you so school your school info then this lady then the black lady and then i feel like you'll be a little better prepared because on my last test i made a 67 but i wasn't doing all this and now i made an 86 so I think that was very helpful. I think that was a change in tactics. And I didn't even look at all like the nutrition stuff that the blood lady had. I just looked at the questions like really quick. Um, but it was very helpful. If I had looked at some of the other like legal ethical guidelines and time management, I think I looked at her time management a little bit. But the legal ethical, I think I would have gotten better too. Um, but part of my question, my tests were math problems, like med math, co conversions. And that's probably... Honestly, that is probably where I lost a lot of my points is on the conversions, like converting um, how many milliliters are in like a tablespoon or a teaspoon. That's definitely where I lost some points. So it is what it is. I'm going to do better for the final, <laughs> hopefully. Um, now that I know it kind of how to study, it's just a matter of studying all this information and like, well, redoing all this information because my final is on Wednesday. And then I have an ATI CAP test on Thursday.
so I don't have much time to really study study but I'm not going to work since I did make money over the weekend I made like a decent amount or whatever so I'm not going to work until these tests are done because I can't afford like I'm very like on the brink of passing y'all right now it says I have an 81 but I think I need like a 77% average on my test grade and right now I'm at like a 76. <laughs> so if I don't get a 77 for the test grade, I think I don't pass the class. So I'm not going to work. Last night was it. I did what I did. It is what it is. <laughs> y'all, I know y'all are trying to see me like this, but this is me. This is me in my natural habitat, okay? So you either like it, you love it or hate it. And if you hate it, you can just get off my channel. But this is me. This is how I take my tests as well. <laughs> I'm in my bed, in my robe, in my bonnet with my glasses on, okay? Anyway, so last night, um, I thought it was going to be like a little sun something last night just because I guess today is President's Day. Why this is a holiday, I don't know. I don't get it. But um, a lot of people, a lot of jobs, like, see, this is a real holiday, and so people may not have to work today. Um, So I was like, okay. This girl, this one white lady had pointed that out to me. So I was like, all right, I'll come to work on Sunday and see what's popping. I'm going to go to work for till like 12.30, 12.45 or whatever. First of all, I got there late, as y'all know. I didn't get there till like a little before 10. And when I got there, apparently like one of the bouncers told me that there were some people who were throwing money on the side stage where I usually practice. So I feel like had I gotten there a little earlier, I probably would have made some more money. Um, But it's fine. I made what I made. <laughs> um, I made at least like $100 for three hours of work. It is what it is. I'm not upset. As long as I made something, I'm not upset about it. Two groups of guys apparently who usually go to Onyx. One, the girl who I went to Vegas with to work, she put me on to them. She was like, hey, y'all, this is my friend Daisy. And we started dancing. They threw some money. She was like, all right, that's all you. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, that's all you. I was like, I appreciate you. Because apparently she had been like bouncing back and forth between the two guys. There was this group of, it was like an Asian couple and another Asian girl. I don't know. It was an Asian group. They were throwing money on girls. So she was bouncing back and forth between them. Um, but they were throwing money on like girls who would come over there and talk to the girls. They wouldn't throw money on you if you were trying too hard on the guy. Like they were really jealous, but willing to spend money. So you just had to get on the girl's good side. I didn't talk to them because every time I saw them, they were already occupied with girls or going upstairs. So I didn't get a chance to really talk to them. But I told the guys, made some little money. And then I started like getting on the pole right in front of them. And they threw some more money on me. So that was cool. Um, as far as stage last night, it won't all that. Like as far as stage rotation. Or at least when I went, like I made a little something, something but not not crazy i got two dances i went up to i mean i went up to almost like everybody in the club y'all like i was doing my laps because i was like look you got till 12 30 try to make 200 dollars in two like i wanted to try to make 200 dollars in like two and a half hours of work so i was just walking 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 who can i go to next whether they tell me no we're not i only got one person to tell me yes i got two so i got two dances out of him so that was a hundred dollars and he took me five dollars on top of that but i had to pay 20 to the club for that because you pay 10 per song um so i ended up like profiting 85 dollars from that as i was on my last song with him up in vip there's these two girls they're two money making girls they have bbls they carried us was really nicely like they're bad bitches i'm not gonna lie they had just finished dancing with my guy's friend they did one song with him and so they were going to pay this other girl who i know who like i occasionally talk to um she she's i don't know what she got going on but she's never put together i don't understand i'm not gonna go into it but she was coming up i guess i don't know why she was coming upstairs all i know is i saw her and the asian bad bitch talking i was like oh okay like I ain't never seen them really talk to, like, I ain't never seen the bad bitches talk to anybody but the bad bitches. So, I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Um, But then they started getting into it. I was like, hold up. While I was, like, at the end of my dance, uh, I was, like, dancing. 
I was looking back at my customer. He was looking at me. And we were like, oh, like, is something going on? And so we were like watching it happen. They were going back and forth. The girl, I'm going to call her messy girl because she not put together. So I'm going to call her messy girl. Messy girl starts walking down the stairs a little bit. And then Asian bad bitch girl starts walking closer to her, following her down the stairs. And they're arguing. So then the bouncer starts getting up and he comes in between them. And then next thing you know, I just hear messy bitch say, and I want you to hit me. Because if you hit me, you know, I will call the police right now and I will sue you. So hit me. I want you to hit me and I will sue you. That's just like all I heard. So I guess back, the Asian bad bitch was threatening to be her or something. I'm just like, what? Asian bad bitch don't talk to nobody. But like her other bad bitch friend. Like I'm shook for one. What did you do to her to make her even go off like that? Because she just be chilling out of her business. But then I'm like, messy bitch. She don't really do nothing either. Like, she really just be sitting by herself or, like, sitting with customers for too long of a period of time. But I'm just shook. Like, I'm just shook that they had that interaction either way. So, I don't know if they were arguing about, like, the customer or what. But I, I wish I would have known because it was getting juicy. Like, that was the most interesting thing of the whole night, to be honest. Um, I think they ended up firing her, y'all, because... They're not going to fire Asian, bit, Asian bad bitch because for one, if you're the girl who's been there the longest, and I'm sorry, y'all, I hope y'all don't hear whatever noise is going on outside, but if you're the girl who's been there the longest and you make money to the club, because Asian bad bitch makes money, okay? She makes money. Um, They're not going to fire you. I feel like messy bitch might have instigated something and Asian bitch was like, don't fuck with me. I'll beat your ass. And that caused messy bitch to be like, I will sue you if you beat my ass. <laughs> I feel like they fired her because they were telling her she had to go home like ASAP. I left, I ended up leaving at like one. I think I was pretty much done. Honestly, at like 12.45, 12.50. 30, we ended up doing a feature, which was whack as f because all night we hadn't done a feature. Then at 12.30, they wanted to do a feature to collect 10 extra dollars from us. And that's up for one because there wasn't money in the club there was not that much money in the club it was maybe one or two girls that were really making money other than that not a lot of people were doing much it was not a lot of dances going on um and even there's not a lot of stage or dances going on like across the board all girls except for maybe one or two that were getting lucky that night other than that for y'all to sit here and do a feature when you see your girls aren't really making no money, there's barely any dances going on, and there's barely any customers in the club, that's f***ed up. And it's only because this club is closing now that they're doing all this grimy ass shit. Because they've already increased their house fee, which $30, okay, whatever, it's $30 house fee, compared to when it used to be $10, it's $20 more. dollars. It's not that deep, it's just another dance. But at the same time, it's like, alright, it's still slow, so every dollar counts. But then... We gotta do this little whack ass feature in at 12 30 when we close at 2 and that's how i, I should have left at 12 30 because i literally didn't make any more actually i did the feature one of the rude hispanic guys came and threw some money on the feature on the stages as we like as i was walking by which i was shocked um as other, other girls were walking by nobody wanted to take it and then the girl who was like doing the feature dance who was like the main attraction or whatever she didn't want to take it because she didn't walk she didn't have to walk the stage when they did it because she's going to be the performer so she was like nobody wants to take this money like y'all need to take this money this is not my money so i took it because if nobody else is going to take it i'm gonna take it and i gave some to the bouncer because he'd be putting me on so we pretty much split that money i'm not going to work tonight i'm not going to work until friday honestly i'm gonna try friday again it might suck it might not but i'm gonna try my best put my best foot forward because this is the last week of class and i'm not messing around i'm not messing around with this with this club trying to make money when i need to be doing well on class because otherwise then i have to pay for this class again and i'm gonna be in the club trying to make this money again i'm good i done paid for the next class already so i'm gonna take that next class as according to schedule but anyways y'all i'm going to today i'm really just gonna be like i might go to the store i might deposit some money in my account um 
and I need to get these vlogs out because it's been a little over a week. I didn't put out a blog, a vlog for last week, so I need to go ahead and get that out for y'all. I have like two or three that I can put out, including this one. Um, so I'm gonna edit those and get to studying. And actually, I'm about to eat and then do all that other stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I know I was like all over the place with the club. Like I didn't get much club footage until last night. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. I just, ooh child, it's just, I be trying. And it, it don't be nothing to talk about when you ain't making no money. <laughs> Honestly. And then I can't record in the club. And, I'm, and then once it gets packed to my club, or once I do start making money, my phone is all the way at the bottom of my money bag. Or I'm just busy and it's just a lot of people in the club and I don't want them seeing me on my phone. So, I just, I'm sorry. But I hope y'all are still enjoying these vlogs. If you are, go ahead and like and comment. A nice little comment. And if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe for me because I will really appreciate that. Watch some of my other vlogs. Watch my ads because that's supporting small local black businesses. Especially during Black History Month. Okay, so support me because... You love me. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? Right? <laughs> and you're supporting a future black nurse. Okay? So, I'm going to end this video here. Y'all be safe. Happy Black History Month. Because I don't think I ever said it for this month. But happy Black History Month. And go support black businesses. Eating complex vitamins help with a number of functions in the body. Including biochemical reactions, body growth and development. Are the oats, rye. So anything that contains those uh, ingredients